Hi everybody, welcome to Studio MD. This is Debbie and today is going to be a very interesting day. We are actually going to do perfect decoupaging with a lighter. I know it sounds scary, but just so you know, I'm a safety girl, just in case we have a big disaster. I'm ready for it. Uh, I am serious. I was watching a uh, one of the crafters on Craft Around the Clock a few days ago, and her uh, her name is Beth with Rekindled Blessings. And hi, Joyce. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Mara and Angela. Uh, anyway, she did some decoupaging on letters. You guys know how crazy hard it is to get a perfect decoupage when you're going through letters like this. It's a nightmare. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Cheryl. Um, it's a nightmare. I have always steered clear of it because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to do it properly. Well, I don't know if this is proper or not, but you guys are going to be floored when you see what we're going to do today. So, make sure you hang with me because we're going to start with small projects and we're gonna work up to a really big one. Uh, also, if you're just here, whether you're here for the first time or if you've been here before, please just say hi so I kind of have an idea of who's here. Uh, Sandy, thank you. Vegas took all my money. I tried not to let them do it, but I found a few slot machines that just caught my eye and I, I went for it. So anyway, I went with I went with some money and I came on with a lot less than I went with. So that was a bummer. But anyway, hi, Marianne. Hi, Renee. Hi, Janet. You are watching from Pennsylvania. I lived in Chats Ford for a long time. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Robin. Hi, Deborah. Um, hi, Sherry. Hi, gang. You guys know I could do this all day long. I get distracted. So First of all, a couple things happened in Vegas that were a nightmare, which was so sad. My favorite glasses in the whole world. Yeah, they finally bit the dust. Lucky for me. Uh, hi, Janice. <laughs> Sup with you. Uh, lucky for me, I had a backup pair. So happy. Also, one of my sweet friends on here, one of our sisters, sent me the most gorgeous pair of Mackenzie Childs uh, glasses, which just so you know, I'm saving them. Like those are for my favorite, you know, for good stuff. Hi, Christina from Sacramento, welcome. Um, I know, Sandy, it was a bummer, but at least I'm keeping everybody there in uh, jobs and stuff. Um, also, okay guys, I'm gonna have to put this on. If you missed uh, Tuesday, my friend Lori was here and hi Janice, she bought me for my birthday early a bobblehead and it's me okay is this hysterical so she didn't have anything she just had this black dress on she had a white stage <laughs> nothing else um janet lots well congratulations thank you for being here i i love that you're new and coming in hi d hi deborah um okay so somebody said you've got to give her some striped glasses so i did I found these little tiny Barbie glasses. Um, one of our girls, Sarah, told me to go to Dollar Tree. They had Barbie glasses, so I found them, painted them, and um, I did a black and white check on her stage. I love her so much, I can't stand it. So anyway, this is our new mascot for Studio MD. I love she has a crown, she got bling on. I mean, she's it's happening for her. So. My new bobblehead will always be here beside me. And then somebody else, um, Nikki, I know it is, it's like my little mini me. Nikki, uh, Nikki McKinney is going to send me some incredible little glasses for her that will be for her special time. <laughs> so anyway, all right. I'm probably gonna leave my glasses on today. Uh, she did turn out cute, didn't she, Chris? So not even kidding. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do decoupaging with a napkin, a lighter, my safety bowl of water. Hi, Linda. Okay, I'm a little nervous. So this is what we're doing. Today is uh, Thursday shenanigans. So every day we try and do something different here, but today is Thursday shenanigans where we try and do something other than paint because most of the time we're painting. 
So I wanted to try some different techniques with this. Again, this is, I did not make this up. All the credit goes to uh, Beth from Rekindled Blessings, but she got it from somebody else too. So none of us are really taking credit for it, but it's really, really, really cool. So let me show you what I did. They showed it with a napkin. I'm gonna show you, because I wanted to try a few different things to see what else would work with the lighter. So let me just tell you, I used paper today. I tried it with paper. I don't know if you can see. Uh, do not try and do this with paper. Uh, this is why I do stuff first so that you guys don't have to. I literally almost burned my house down. I was really nervous. So anyway, do not use paper. It did not work with paper. But when you see what we're doing, you'll go, oh, okay, now she's a moron for even trying paper. So, but this is just tissue paper. I got it at Hobby Lobby and their little, um, you know, their little section where they keep all their um, bags and tissue. And I thought, okay, well, I'm gonna try it and see if it works. It did, it did work, you guys. So, if you've never seen this before, if you missed it the other day, you guys, this is the best thing ever. Hi, Molly. Oh, wait, you guys, you've seen nothing yet. Oh, how about that? You guys know I am so clumsy. I broke my sign, but I don't care. It works, it'll work out so that I will um, glue it together. Okay, so what you wanna do, let's say which way did I go? Oh, it doesn't matter. What you wanna do is lay your, hi ladies, hi everybody. Today's crazy Thursday shenanigans where we do something crazy. And today we are using tissue paper and napkins and a lighter and we're burning it onto, we're burning it onto this sign so it'll look like decoupage. So, okay, here's what you do. Get your paper cut approximately the size of whatever you're working with. You guys know, I get so excited. Okay, and then you're gonna cover the whole area, everything that you want decoupaged, just anything that you want decoupaged with, you can use um, Mod Podge, or I saw it with the, um, a glue stick and I thought, oh my goodness, what could possibly be easier than just doing it with a glue stick? Trust me, nothing. Okay, I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Okay, and then all you do is just lay it over top, not even kidding, press it down. Now, if you were doing some kind of a uh, Michelin, you like my hair tied back better? Oh, my friend Lori told me I look a lot older with my hair tied back, but yes, when we're working with fire, this is probably the best idea. Okay, now look what I'm doing. I'm just making sure I don't have any wrinkles, laying it out, and I'm just cutting a little bit more so that we don't have too much excess. Okay, and then I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't want, I don't want any extra, I don't want any extra paper on my table. Okay, here we go. This is so fun. And we're gonna do it a number of times with different things today. So here we go. Are you ready? Let me get my fingers so I'm prepared. All right, here we go. Are you dying so far? Hold on, wait till it comes around. It is making it perfect. Ow. Okay, that hurts. Are you dying so far? Okay, so then you have to go back in and do the inside parts. Can you guys see? I mean, it's a mess. <laughs> it is such a mess, but it's so fun. Is that insane? And it gives you a perfect decoupage every time. I cannot get over it, but can I just tell you, I cannot believe my smoke alarm hasn't gone off yet because my whole house smells like burnt paper right now. Let's see. Some of them are hard to get going. But what keeps it from setting the wood on fire, someone said, is the glue. It's the glue that keeps it from burning anything else. Now, some of the edges are a little bit burnt, but not enough that it would make a difference. Is that amazing? Oh, I'm so happy you guys are happy. Um, yes, Natalie, I should have done it over the sink. That would have been great information <laughs> about five minutes ago. Um, I am just using tissue paper. 
regular tissue paper from Hobby Lobby. You guys, this is honestly the coolest thing ever. Yes, I should have added more insurance for sure. And yes, I should have been doing it outside, you guys. But you know we're all about the shock factor over here. And honestly, I have a bowl of water right here. I would have thrown it in immediately if anything had happened. But how incredible is that? I, I just, I can't get enough of it right now. Okay, so that, uh, you saw someone holding the lighter underneath the wood. Okay, maybe I should have done that. We'll try it with the next one. See, I love this. I, if you guys have done this, please give me any information you have because I'm just so excited about it. Okay, let's do this time. Isn't it so cool? Oh, I'm so happy you guys love it too. Okay, uh, so happy. Janice, I was speechless too. Trust me, I can't get enough of it. Okay, let's go to a napkin because I want to show you guys the difference with a napkin. So let's use this black, this one. I think it's so pretty. All right, so these, all these little signs I got at Hobby Lobby. It really is cool, you guys. It's amazing. Please do try it, Sheila. So um, Hobby Lobby for all the little signs. And then you know who's got the best napkins ever and so inexpensive is uh, Tuesday morning. So I went to Tuesday morning and I got a bunch of beautiful napkins because I'm all about uh, lemons right now. And then of course, McKinsey Childs has gorgeous napkins and I had a bunch of hers. So when you're doing napkins, you need to get the, the uh, two ply and the three ply off. Okay, so, and this is obviously no different than going to the grocery store in the produce department and you can never get those stinking bags open. And then you try and do it with your finger, but not, um, not right now during COVID. The last thing I'm gonna do is lick your finger. I don't know, anyway, it's a nightmare. Okay, sometimes, so you see, you have to get the ply off first. So there's one ply. And sometimes there's two and three ply. So that was one. I do believe there's another one on here. Let's see. And they're real, they're hard to find. So just hang with me because it, it, the, uh, the napkins are super exciting to watch too. All right, hold on. And it could be that there isn't a two ply on this one, but I'm, I need to just double check. Nope, I don't see another one. Okay, so that was just a two ply. The McKinsey Child's ones are, uh, okay, hold on. I use painter's tape to separate the napkins. Okay, super smart, I, I, super smart. I'll do that next time. Thank you for that advice. Okay, so let's do it over this create sign. You guys are going to be excited. Okay, so I know I want, I want to get some flowers on it. So I'm going to do use tape to get the, okay, yeah, from now on. I saw someone who uses, okay, you guys are all the painter tape people. So I just am going to cut out some of the napkin because I don't want too much. I do not want too much, you know, less fire, the better. So now here's, all right. Let's get rid of some of this because I, I am nervous. I, this time I'm gonna put my bowl of water right in front of me, just in case. Um, okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is take our glue stick or you could use Mod Podge. If you're just tuning in, we are making perfect decoupage with a lighter and napkins and tissue paper. I didn't invent this, somebody else did, so I can't take the credit for it. But I can take the credit for probably being more excited than anybody online about this. So, um, and stay with us. And if you're new here, please let me know you're new and tell me where you're from. Uh, Cause we've got, our projects are getting bigger as we go today. So the last one that we're going to do is really, really exciting. Okay, so you just gonna, I, all I did was glue stick right where I want the decoupage to go. So I did it right on top of all the numbers. I did not do the sides. And now I'm going to, okay, so you can see it's stuck on there. I'm just gonna cut around it so that I don't have too much uh, paper that's going to be on fire in my home. And you're right, this would have been a much better project to do outside or in my bath, my bathtub or something. The glue, I'm just using any cheap glue stick. I think I got these at, um, it will work. It will work, Shirley. 
It'll work. Okay, hold on. The, the hardest part is finding a place to hold on to it while it's doing its thing. So I'm just gonna hold back here. All right, here we go, ready? Hi guys, thanks for being here. I can't wait to see. No, wrapping paper will not work. Paper did not work well at all. All right, watch this, you guys. And it will completely outline all of the letters like you've never seen before. The napkin goes a little bit slower and you'll see the edges burn, but watch at the very, did you see the C? Look at that C. I'm gonna do this right over here. Okay, so you'll see in a minute when we're done, I'm gonna brush all that other stuff off. Isn't this crazy? Hold the sign with kitchen tongs. Again, great information a couple minutes ago, Judy. Okay, yeah, I, I will do that next time. I am so floored by this technique. I can't even get over it. Is that the coolest thing ever? Okay, so then all I'm gonna do is take, all right, please tell me this was cool. Oh, Kristen, are you ever home? Okay, so all I'm doing is, you can see, I just took a soft brush and I'm wiping off the excess, like, you know, where the where it kind of burned and you can see all this. And then you just need to go back like and get in so some of these spaces that didn't get it. And I learned that you just poke a little hole in it first and it burned a lot better that way. Let's see, there's a tiny little one there. So let's do it one more time in those spaces. You see, I'm trying to be a little bit more careful now. It's a mind blower, isn't it? It is a mind blower. I still, I am just can't get over it. But wait, today we're gonna do, um, okay, that one didn't get in the middle. Let's see if I can get it in there. Nope. So you might have to do a couple little touch-ups, but for the most part, you guys, is that insane? Hi, Patricia. So here's what happened. Um, I like, okay, so right there, can you see right there? It burned down a little bit too far. I put another tiny piece on it because I did another one. I did a tiny piece on it and did the same technique and it worked. So I am fascinated by this. I hope you are too. Okay, so that's cool. Okay, so I should go underneath from now on. Okay, I will. All right, so there's one. Let's clean that up. Now we're going to get extremely creative and we're going to do a two-tone sign. So this is my welcome sign. It was from, okay, now it's nice and thick. And I did try something a little bit thinner and I didn't have a lot of luck with it. It worked, but it wasn't as easy, especially, okay, everybody, yes, I will definitely do underneath this time. Sorry, I should have done that last time. So what I wanna do on this one, we're gonna do two-tone. I wanna do some lemons but I wanna do mostly the blue and white. I'm trying to change out my house. Of course, my entire house is black and white check or black and white stripe, but I'm trying to add some of the, like the Delft blue, the blue toile into my decor. So I thought, all right, let's try this. Okay, so again, and you guys, if you try this at home, you have to let me know. Hi, CM. Um, CM, we've already talked about my awesome glasses and that we're saving them just for for uh, good times. Let's see, you guys said painter's tape. I don't think I have any right here. So let me, but I will do that next time. And I, I seriously, you guys, all of your uh, suggestions, I am so appreciative of. Okay, remember, cause I always forget to get that ply off. This looks like just a, now what do you call that? Is this a two ply or would that be a one ply? I think that's a two ply. All right, so now we just need to decide. I know I want lemons, a lot of lemons on my O. So I'm gonna start right there. I'm going to just do the O, get the lemon there, and then we're going to start doing the rest. So let's just see how good we are at basically two-toning this. And I don't want any, uh, I just really just want lemons on this. So let's see if we can, how well we can do this. Okay, so um, did I try metal yet? No, 
Uh, CM, that's our last project of the day, and wait till you see it. I am so floored with it. Okay, so I've got that. I'm gonna use my little baby scissors this time because I wanna really just cut around all this stuff. So that is the key. Make sure you don't have too much of the paper. Go ahead and cut that off a little bit too. Okay, so you guys said do it underneath. I feel much more comfortable doing a little at a time. Wait, wait for what? Shirley Ann, tell me what I should wait for during live, but what do you mix with triple thick? Oh, okay, Marion with triple thick uh, DuraClear. And it's on our supply list. All right, here we go. Hi, Debbie. You spell the same, your name the same way I do. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness. It, it is just so amazing. Yes, Wendy, I am just, uh, wait, I cut it, okay. I am just using uh, a glue stick. Okay, so now let's go, nope. Now you guys said go underneath on, but it doesn't work, it doesn't work that way underneath in those center ones. Oh look, there was another ply on it because it just lifted up a little bit. Okay, that's good information. That's why we do this here. We do all this stuff first so that you don't have to do it. My friend just asked if it would work on her fingernails. <laughs> um, I wouldn't wanna be trying that, but if your friend's brave like I am, then maybe. Let's do one more right here. Let's try and get all this off. It's just the coolest thing ever. Okay, and then take your brush and brush it all off, brush off. But you can see what you're brushing off is like the uh, ashes. But you can see here, it did have another ply and it started to pull up. But I'm not gonna worry about that right now because I will, um, I'm gonna seal it with triple thick anyway and it's not gonna make any difference. Why is it on the wrong side, Denise? Because you, when you do a live, everything is backwards until I actually figure out how to not have it backwards. So that's the only reason. Um, I know a lot of people think that I do everything wrong, which I probably do. But anyway, it's just that your camera's, my camera's backwards. You're fine, mine's messed up. Okay, so now I just wanna take, we're not gonna do the whole thing. I just want you to see now if you're really like thoughtful as you're doing it, and now let's just do the blue. And now we know there is another ply on this, which I still can't get over that. There it is, yep. Okay, so next time, some of you said, okay, pop the hole from underneath so the paper pokes up to light it. Okay, perfect, thank you for that, Angela, thank you. So a lot of you guys have done this before and I'm the only one out of touch. Or maybe, hopefully a bunch of you, thank you, I love my glasses too, Patricia. <laughs> I, hopefully a bunch of you had never seen this so I'm not just like, you know, doing this for myself. Okay, so this time I want more blue and no, uh, I don't want, let's see, let's do two letters. I don't want any of the yellow this time. I just want blue. I just want to see if this is something that would work, you know, if we're really trying to get creative and use all different patterns or whatever. I think it's gonna work, you guys, I really do. So, what's so great about it is it will only, it will only touch what I glue. And somebody said that it's the glue, um, isn't that so cool? Uh, that it's the glue that keeps it from burning the wood. But let me just tell you, when I used paper, the scrapbook paper, not only did it really start burning, it really caught on fire, but it also burned the wood. So I do not, do not, do not, do not recommend doing paper with this. Just stick with for now until, <laughs> until we all get better at it. Just stick with napkins or tissue paper. Tissue paper worked really well, you guys. I almost think the napkins are cooler, but um, okay, so I assume you guys are saying before I do anything, maybe just poke the holes. Um, all right, let me poke a hole here, poke a hole here. 
here. And I think that's it. Okay, let's try it again. I know, who knew? Who knew, who knew? All right, here we go. I'm gonna do it over my water, you guys, just to be safe, because I'm a safety girl. Here we go. Holy moly. Okay, that makes me nervous. When you go from the bottom like that, girls, it goes crazy. But it totally works. That made me nervous. Did that make everybody else nervous too? Because I, I panicked for a second. Okay, then take our brush. Look at this, you guys. It is incredible. And now, like I said, I will seal, oh, we missed a spot. I will seal the whole thing, which will keep everything down nice. Isn't it crazy? Oh, I know, who was nervous for me? Thank you, thank you, Sarah. I, I literally, on that one, I thought, oh, great, live TV. We're gonna blow up my house and my glasses and everything. I can't wait, Sasha, for you to try this too. So. Guys, look at this. So I will finish the rest of it um, and show you. Uh, that's why I'm happy your hair is tied back. Yes, I am <laughs> happy my hair is tied back today too. Um, okay, so I cannot wait to finish this. And I will probably, what do you guys think? Does it need more lemons or should I not overdo it? It is so satisfying. Um, what are you using as a sealer? Uh, Sasha, I'm going to use a triple thick because that's what I always use, but any type of sealer will work. I like everything to have a super high gloss finish and that's what this does. In this case, it also comes uh, triple thick or even the DuraClear in high gloss. They also come in spray paint, which honestly would have been really cool for this. I'm also going to paint all of the edges in this Martha Stewart gold. Now it's impossible to find, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, so Tammy, more lemons. Let me know you got, okay, CM, more lemons. So where would you do those? Maybe just the E and the W? Let me know about that. If you can't find the Martha Stewart gold, let me see where my other one is. This is from uh, Michael's Hobby Lobby, Joanne. It's called Liquid Leaf. It is just a beautiful gold paint. It works just amazingly. If you, I want you to see what it looks like because we just gave this tray away. So if you're new to Studio MD, we give a lot of stuff away over here. And yesterday, uh, Sandra Shabbat won this tray, but you can see it's the Martha Stewart gold on that. Isn't it beautiful? So that was yesterday. Um, okay, lemon on the W, the rest blue. Where do you get the triple thick? Uh, Julie, you can get it on Amazon, michaels.com. Uh, you can get it pretty much most places. Okay, so I will. So I will finish this up and post a picture of this so you guys can all see what we did together. I love that you guys were here with me that we did do this together. So, okay, I want you to continue to see. I wanted to, to try it on all different types of products. So... Oh my gosh, you guys. I am such a mess right now. It's ridiculous. Okay, so hold on. I am, uh, so if you guys were here uh, a couple weeks ago, I'm gonna try and show you the whole thing. I bought this. It was just horrible, uh, ugly colors on this. It was like a, uh, a royal blue and I don't know. It was ugly colors. I painted the whole thing out white and then started back up, because that's what we do here at Studio MD. We destroy everything and then start it back up again. So this is what I painted, but I thought, okay, I don't want it all black and white. I want some color on it too. So I thought we would try something like this and see, um, okay, I will go back and make sure everybody tells me uh, that I'm doing what you guys one of the housekeepers coming back. They were just here yesterday for crying out loud. Doggone it. Uh, hi, Anne from Lake Wales, Florida. Okay, so I pulled, I already started this one because I loved this with, um, I think this is just a pretty, pretty napkin to go with this and it matches my bows. So let's try this one. And I already, there, I already started taking the ply off and there was two of them on this one. So I'm taking both of them off at the same time. I know. 
Okay, taking both of them off at the same time. Didn't this turn out so much cuter though, you guys? So one of the ladies that won, um, her name is Marvella. She won one of our giveaways and I gave her the option to have this yard sign or the Easter sign and she chose this. So this is why I'm doing it today. All right, so the first thing is make sure the plies are off, line it up however you want it, and then make sure everything's big enough and then we're just gonna glue. This would probably be a good one to do the Mod Podge on, but that's okay. Yes, it is a pretty napkin. These napkins are, this one that I'm using right now is from McKinsey Childs. So I'm gonna make sure, and I also found out that it's gotta be pretty fresh um, glue, because I thought, well, maybe I could let it sit for a minute while I do something else real quick, but I didn't. it didn't let me do that. Now I'm hoping the purple isn't gonna show through it shouldn't. And that egg is a, kind of going a weird direction, so I need to go the same direction. Okay. I'm, I hope that purple's going to go away. What do you guys think? I got the bunny at Walmart. It was only $12.99. So the burn works with Mod Podge as well, yes. And I can already tell I should have done that. But again, this is why I do it first, so that you guys don't have to make the mistakes. I make them. Uh, let's see, can you do the edges if you want to? Yes, you could, but you would have to do a little bit at a time. So uh, obviously for time purposes, we're not gonna do that. But yes, CM, you, you definitely could do the sides also. Let's just see. You know what, you guys, here's the worst case. If that uh, pur the purple glue doesn't dry, um, if it, dries purple, then all I'm gonna do is take another one of these napkins and put it over top. It should dry clear. Okay, good. All right, let's see. I'm just trying to get off as much as possible. All right. Oh, I feel like my adrenaline is so off the charts right now. Here we go. Let's just see. Oh, it is so nerve wracking. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? Okay, then look, and yes, you guys are right. It is starting to dry clear. And then all you do is take your brush and brush it off. And now look at this darling little sign. Okay, I'm in love with this. Look at me, I'm covered in ashes. Um, okay, the purple will dry clear, I'll be fine. Okay, perfect, okay, it works, it works. Okay, so, so far we know it works on wood, it works on little signs, and now the big show of the day. Wait till you see this, you guys. Okay, uh, purple gloves, uh, yeah, the, glo the purple gloves. Okay, so guys, yesterday, I went to Tuesday morning and I found this big sign for $12.99 at Tuesday morning. So if you get a chance, go get this sign. And you can see I've already started. So if you're new here and you've never uh, seen what Studio MD does, we are black and white stripe, black and white check. We love all of that stuff. And I teach women how to paint these things so you can make all of this kind of stuff on your own. So I've already painted a couple of these because I want to do the whole thing in the floral and the black and white check and some stripes. I'm mixing it up. I'm going to redo these letters in black and then I might even do black and white check all the way around the frame. I'm not sure yet. Where did I find the egg sign? Um, I'm not sure which egg sign you're talking about, uh, but I got one at, uh, the big one I got at Barnes and Noble, and the other one that I had inside of a wreath I got at um, Target. So this is what I want my whole goal in life with you guys is to show you things and have you look at things differently. And when I bought this, my friend was with me and he said, what, ugh, oh, that's kind of ugly. And I go, oh, Really? Did you just meet me? Wait till you see what we're gonna do with it. It's gonna be incredible. So I can already tell it's gonna be incredible. So I thought we'd do a couple more leaves. And just so you know, when you're doing something, let me put this down a little bit, sorry guys. Okay, 
Um, hi everybody, hi Robin. So when you're doing something like this, uh, because there was so much color on these leaves, but the whole point of this is that it's metal and you can do this on metal. But the leaves were a little bit dark for a one ply napkin. So I'm having to paint each one white. That's kind of a bummer, but it's totally worth it to me. I don't care because I can already tell you how amazing this is going to be when it's done and I cannot wait to show everybody. So let's go back to, I just want you to see how you're able to kind of uh, manipulate things to make sure we can get just what we want burned. I still can't, all right. I always say I can do this without my glasses. No, I can't. I can't see a stinking thing without my glasses. Um, okay, I really wish I'd had that painter's tape first. When I, uh, Monday, so come back Monday, same time, and we are going to do, I'll show you in a second, because we're gonna do a really cool project like this, but we're also going to paint. So that'll be Monday at 2.30. I think these have two ply. Yeah, they do. So give me a sec. I didn't want to take all this apart before today because I wanted you guys to remember because sometimes I forget about pulling the napkins apart and I didn't want you guys to forget that. Did I already get it off? Oh gosh. I will do, there it is. I'll do painter's tape next time, I promise. I just, I, I should have asked you guys first. I just had no idea that was the way to go. Oh, for crying out loud. Literally like the produce section, it drives me insane. Okay, here we go. And then I'll use, I can use this napkin over and over and over because there's a whole bunch. Okay, did I go to art school? No, I didn't. Uh, tomorrow, yes. Tomorrow is Nailed It or Failed It Friday. And I'm not even sure what we're doing yet because I have like three different ideas. So you can come back tomorrow for Nailed It or Failed It Friday where we do, literally you guys, we just do crazy stuff over here. Um, but we, we do also, I teach classes and we do beautiful, honestly, if you look on this page, you'll see we do beautiful work. Okay, you use a small razor blade and I have one right here. Okay, I'm gonna try that too. Hi everybody. Okay, so let me get over here so you guys can see and get close to my water again. Okay, can you see? Yeah, so I'm just gluing this one because I'm only gonna do one at a time. I'm gonna glue this one deal. And remember, I put, um, I painted it white first just to be safe. And also to check for you guys if the paint would catch on fire and it didn't. So that was good to know. Let's see. Uh, let me get a bigger pair of scissors. Oh my goodness. There's so much stuff under here now. Okay, here we go. So again, I really did find, when I first did it the first, the very first time, I didn't cut around as much paper as I should have, and I really regretted that. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it up so it's not touching the others, hopefully. All right, you guys ready? This always makes me nervous. Did I put primer on the leaves first? No, great question, Mara. I didn't because I didn't need to because we were covering up not only with paint, but then also with the napkin, so I didn't worry about it. All right, here we go. I'm just kind of watching it just to make sure what, what happens. Is that not the craziest thing and the best thing you have ever seen for the quickest decoupage. I love it so much. What kind of white paint did you use? Laura, I just used what I always use with, which is a, it's a Benjamin Moore, it's Regal Select. Uh, it's a matte, and the number is OC117. It's just, a, it's called Simply White. You could go to Home Depot and just say, hey, I need you to match OC117 for me with your thickest paint. You want thick interior paint, something that will give you a uh, good coverage. You guys, isn't this gonna be spectacular? I can't wait to finish this. So, 
Oh, I'm gonna do one more just so that everybody gets, um, now isn't it funny, now napkins. If I see people throwing napkins away at my house, I'm gonna be like, eh? <laughs> what? So what's so fun also, as you can see, you're able to pick your patterns. So I'm picking patterns, like that was a lot of flowers. So now I'm gonna go just a little bit more white. Again, just cutting this off. You guys are so sweet for watching this over and over, but I know if it's if you're like me, when I saw it the first time, I was blown away. And it was so fun to watch. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna show you on this where I'm going to just, and they had at my, at my Tuesday morning, they had like four of these. So maybe your Tuesday morning will have it or something similar, because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do on Monday, and it's similar. Okay, so you can see all I'm doing is kind of getting everything else out of the way. It's not hurting anything. These are metal and they'll go right back down. And also you guys, um, Hobby Lobby had a whole bunch of metal flower stuff signs also. Okay, here we go. I mean, I couldn't do this this fast if my life depended on it. So, you're welcome. <laughs> it's just, oh my gosh, I still can't get over it. But now you can start to see what this is going to look like. Um, let me get some of these down. But isn't this gonna be beautiful when we get done? I'm super excited about it. Uh, where did I get the idea from? Um, uh, I did, couldn't catch your name, it went too fast, but uh, why purple glue on one and now white glue? Uh, Joanne, because I grabbed the wrong glue, frankly, so I'm prone to do that. Um, I, it's not my own idea, just so you guys know. I would love to take credit for it and tell you how unbelievably clever and fascinating I, fascinating I am, but I found the idea uh, a couple of days ago from another crafter and uh, her name was Beth from Rekindled Blessings, and she was the one who showed how to do it, and I'd never seen it before, so I give her all the credit for this. It is the craziest thing ever, and why does it do that? Deborah? why does it do, um, why does it burn like that? I have no idea. Uh, so anyway, let me show you guys what we're gonna do Monday. You're gonna love it, hold on. So, Monday is Makeover Monday, where I love to take something, sorry, I love to take something, tear it all apart, and start over and make something different. So Monday, okay, so I found this sign at Hobby Lobby. It was $24.99 and then $40 off. I don't love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this thing in the middle off. I'm going to paint these, every other one, black and white. Okay, just bear with me. I know right now you're like, ah, I don't know. Okay, just stick with me. Black and white, every other one. I'm going to do something here with friends, but I don't know what. And then um, I'm going to paint out probably just white on welcome. Take this off, but wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna take that off. I'm also going to take off this last layer of metal because it's too big for my sign. See? It's too big, but what I'm gonna do is, um, yes, if you all would be willing to S-H-A-R-E this, we're not allowed to say the word, uh, there's a button somewhere that you can just push and S-H-A-R-E this or you know sprinkle it with your friends because this of all videos I've done in a long time, this is the one to let other people see and let this big secret get out. It's just so fun. But anyway, I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna do what we just did with napkins on this big metal flower. I'm going to black and white check the inside of this and then put it all back together. So that's what we're doing on Monday. Lori, thank you so very much. I really appreciate that, Lori Stanley. Um, so come back Monday to watch, uh, watch me do this. And if you wanna play along, you could get both of these things at Hobby Lobby. They're both in the spring, are they both spring? Yes, they're both spring in the spring section. And this was with, um, this was with like the metal yard art and stuff like that. They did have some great uh, metal flower signs. Uh, it's Country Outback Crafts idea. 
and make sure you say it's country. Okay, I did not know. Country Outback Crafts, if this is your idea, we believe me, we are not trying to take credit for it. I saw it from Rekindled Blessings. If you were the first one to do it, then I am. I, I am in awe of you that you did this and figured it out because it's the coolest thing ever. So I hope you guys will go back and see who said that so that you can follow them uh, because obviously if they're that cool, they got a lot of other cool tricks up their sleeves. So just so you know, thank you so much for showing it at some point, but I just happened to see it from someone else. Um, okay, so that's Monday. We're gonna do that. Yesterday and uh, yesterday we had uh, Win It Wednesday. Tuesday, we painted, we did a wreath. We completely took apart a um, wreath. Yes, absolutely. Country Outback Crafts. Thank you for thank you for being here and telling us that. I had no idea. I saw it from somebody else, and I just wanted to give her credit. But you obviously deserve all the credit. So, um, so if you guys saw, we tried this technique on the hello sign on Tuesday, and um, I didn't love it. I love the technique. I love that. But what I what I didn't love was how busy it turned out. So I just wanted you guys to know, not to hurt anybody's feelings, because we did it all together, but I painted the whole thing back out, and now it's just white, and I think it's perfect. And now I love it, and my neighbors can see what I'm doing. Diane Booth, thank you very, very much. So, all right, guys, I hope you've learned a lot. I hope you've had fun. And um, we didn't burn anything down. Everything's still intact, but just know, do not use paper, it did not work. Unless somebody has tried it and it does work and I didn't do it right, but I did not like it with paper. I only liked it with tissue paper and with napkins. So, I hope you have a great rest of your evening. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, you can find out more of our tutorials and things on this page, but also on www.studiomdaz.com. And we also have another page called Check Savvy Sisters, and we do a lot of fun stuff over there too. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'd love being able to share it with you today, and I hope you have a great rest of your evening. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow, same time, 2.30 MST, and we're gonna do Nail It or Failed It Friday. Still don't know what we're gonna do, but it's gonna be something good, I promise. All right, have a great evening. See you later, bye.